Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, and I'm gonna make me some coffee before work. That way I won't have to spend any money on anything. Um, well, that's not happening. I'm out of coffee. Them up here. Nope. I guess I will be. What time is it? I have to leave early so I can get some coffee. I know I should have did this last night. Try to figure out what I'm gonna bring for my lunch. Now I'm like, oh my goodness, what to bring? And when I get like this, I hate it because I end up grabbing something unhealthy. I guess I'm spending money on lunch also. Because there's nothing that I can just grab. And I'm tired tired of enchiladas. You guys can't see me. Hold on. Okay. I'm tired of enchiladas right now. I mean, they're good, but just don't want any. Okay. Well, I'm going to McDonald's to get coffee. I better leave. Okay, so, just letting the car warm up a little bit. I don't really have to so much because I keep the car in the garage. But because these mornings have been like in the 30s um when i back out i'll just let it warm up a little bit before i take off but yes i need to stop or to start making my lunch the night before because it always happens if there's nothing quick and easy to grab like something to make sandwiches or something like that um then i usually end up eating un unhealthy for lunch but i don't think i'm gonna do that today because i can just go get a salad from somewhere there's um different restaurants and there's even a subway by my job so yeah I can do definitely do that alrighty I better get going next week at this time you guys I will be sleep in my nice warm bed I am I only work Monday and Tuesday the week of Christmas and then I'm off for the rest of the week so it's like I almost having a vacation and I get paid for it yeah so cold out oh my goodness it's freezing Oh, I'm the first one here as always, so get everything started in the front. Okay, let me just get in. Oh my God. You guys see that? That tent? That's homeless people living there. It's really sad. The, um, they'll, the cops will come and they will tell them to move. Okay, that's better. So anyway, the cops will come and have them move and clear it out. And maybe like two weeks later, they're back there. It's really sad. And, you know, the nights that we've been having, we've been having some really cold nights. And, you know, 32 degrees, 27. So that that's cold. And, yeah, I can't imagine being out in the cold like that with just a tent to protect you. So that's why, and, and not just Christmas time, you know, you just got to be thankful for even the small things. Thankful for a roof over your head. I mean, I, I can't imagine I you know I know some of them are you know they don't if they had a choice they wouldn't be there you know so yeah and I know some some do some take advantage of people and you know and actually there's a lady that um when I leave work she's always standing on the corner asking for food but one of my co-workers said not for food and money whatever but one of my co-workers said she's been doing it for 13 years and she actually seen a lady get into a car and drive into one of the apartments um around the corner from here so yes there are some people that take advantage of it but you know some you know i'm sure they wouldn't want to be out in the cold so i don't know i just thought i'd share that with you so I did get a lunch. I was going to go go get a salad, but I decided to get the KFC Famous Bowl. I wanted to show you guys this house. Every year, they decorate their house for Christmas, and then they also do stuff for Thanksgiving, but they do way too much to the point to where it starts looking cluttered and really bad. I pulled over, so I'm not actively driving. Cheyenne at work. I think she's tilling out of her cash register. She's about to come out. Hello. So, I'm going to show you guys what my kids did. They put some Christmas lights above my headboard. Okay. And it's cute. But then, 
after they did it, they called me basic. So guess what I'm eating again for dinner, you guys? Soup. I'm gonna turn into soup. I don't know, I just can't get enough of it and it's, it's just so good and I don't really eat noodles a lot because I don't know I just don't but lately I have been that's what I want for dinner every single night even though we have other food in there because I went grocery shopping no I'd rather have the soup so Tariq put lights in his room also I'll let him show you guys that later but I'm trying to find something to watch all of my shows are on the winter finales uh, midwinter finales or whatever you want to call it so I'm trying to find something else to watch I see that telenovela I guess they said that was good so maybe I'll give that a try and see good morning everyone it is Friday my one Friday this month to work uh, I'd rather be in bed but hey it's okay and Savannah will be here with me she actually went to turn off our neighbors um, lights um, my neighbor that lives on this side of me when we first moved into our house she only known us maybe about six months of saying hi and little chit chat whatever so it, it took about six months she handed us her, uh, the keys to her house and said okay I'm going on vacation can you turn the lights on and off and bring in the mail and the paper you know just to make it look like somebody's home what Okay, hold on guys. So Savannah had trouble unlocking the door. She's with me now. I had to go help her. Anyway, so what was I saying? Oh, so our neighbor, she's a really nice older lady. She's old enough to be my mom, maybe my grandmother. I don't know. I didn't ask her how old she was. But um, yeah, so she she seen us maybe about six months after we moved in and just, you know, hi and bye and small chit chat, whatever. So she, yeah, she gave us the keys to her house, said, I'm going on vacation. Like I said, you know, make it, you know, turn the lights on and off, whatever. And my thing is, okay, we do it because, you know, she pays my kids and even, you know, we tell her you don't have to do that, you know, but it's like, you didn't know us. We could have been some crazy people. We could have went through a house and I mean, she would have known who did it, but still, you know, it, you know, I'm not that trusting, you know, people I've only known six months that I only see going in and out. You know, I wouldn't trust none of the neighbors when we go on vacation because Leo, um, we don't leave the keys with her. I take that back. We did one time and she let him in and out and she turned a light. Okay, we did it one time, but that's only because I'd been living here already four years and I know her, she's a retired teacher. She's super nice. She loves my kids and you know, she pays Tyreek to cut her yard and um, get the leaves from her gutters. I'm just saying a lot. I know, I better get to work. <laughs> Good morning. Well, I've already said that. Anyway, I've made it to work. Can you guys see me? There we go. Need to scoot down a little bit. Anyway, made it to work and there if you've seen my vlogs from previously when I sh gave you a, like a mini tour of my job um, you would have noticed that I think I said it, it's kind of outdated the um, building has been here years and the old doctor retired the old dentist and now there's a new dentist anyway he is in process of updating everything so we're getting new carpet this weekend so the floor where I am now let me show you guys this regular floor or linoleum or whatever you want to call it that's actually going to be like commercial carpet and throughout the whole um the whole uh, um, office so that's what they're doing today and i normally like when on my fridays i like being here alone but the workers are going to be here today and it's actually one of the co-workers dad so it's not too bad but you know i don't know just my friday that i'm here by myself i like being here alone that way I can get work done and it'll be quiet but it's just today so not too bad also if I'm rambling too much you guys I'm sorry I'm just I don't know I'm just in a weird mood this morning um, not a bad thing but just in a weird mood so remember when I was sick and I told you guys that I was out from work for a whole week well a whole week in our world the dinner world is considered four days um, so my boss, he is like super, super nice. He, um, cause I haven't been at the job, this job a year yet. And he pays for holidays and stuff like that, but I don't have any vacation time or sick time. So this is the deal that we worked out. He cut me a check for the four days that I missed when I was sick. But starting in January, not January 1st, let me see. 
Okay, not January 1st because the first is a holiday, of course, but the four, the other four Fridays in January, I'm gonna work those Fridays and just not get paid for them because he already like prepaid me, gave me an, like an advance, but it's not really an advance, it's to make up for that week that I missed. Excuse me, I have hiccups. It's to make up for that week that I missed, but he's giving me an opportunity to make it up because he's just super nice like that. That's awesome, that's awesome. And you guys know that I love having my Fridays off because in the dinner world we're spoiled. But the only reason why the, he wants someone here every Friday is because to answer the phones or stuff like that, which I understand. And just to catch up on some the other work that me and the front office girl, um, she is she's actually my office manager that she um, needs to get done when there's no patients here. So she does all the Fridays of the month except the one that I come in, and I usually come in on the third Friday of every month. So yeah, he's letting me make it up, but the only thing down about it I gotta work every Friday and I know some people are all boo-hoo five days you know working five days you have to understand in the dental world that's a long time we're spoiled in dinner dental I will admit to that but I love what I do I love my profession and that's just the way it is I know there are some dental offices that do open five days a week and some even big corporations even open on Saturdays well there's no way I would ever work work for a corporation that's um, work on the weekends. I, If I can help it, I will never work on the weekends again. And I've been this way like this for years. So yeah, not going back to working on weekends. So I'm super early. So that's the reason why I haven't got started yet. Excuse me. It's not even eight o'clock yet. So, okay. I'm gonna be super bored today because the printers aren't working. We have two printers and they move them up higher on the counter so they can um, do the carpet. And my computer is not printing anything and neither is the front computer. So something happened in them moving it and I tried all the plugs, pushing them back in, nothing's working. So I guess I'm gonna just answer phones today and stuff. So we're in Arden Mall and that's the tree that they have set up. Pretty cute. And I can't show you guys what we're getting because the kids will know. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay, so the kids will know. So it's just me and Cheyenne. Alrighty.